One of my favorite tools for managing WordPress, BlogVault, has got a brand new interface, and it's really sweet. Hey, it's Alex here, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the new BlogVault interface. I use BlogVault all the time to keep my websites backed up, to keep them secure, to do easy plugin updates, and it's just a really good way to manage WordPress websites, especially if you've got more than one site. BlogVault is part of a family of great tools for WordPress, including WP Remote and Airlift. And both of those have also got a brand new interface. Well, it's basically the same interface. <laughs> They've rolled it out across the entire suite. If you're not yet using BlogVault, I'll put a link up right now. You can sign up for free. And uh, that is an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. But that's enough talking. Let me jump on the computer. Let me show you how sweet this interface is now looking. So here is BlogVault. Here's the new dashboard. As you can see, it looks a bit different to the old version, but it's different in a good way. Much more clean, uh, more modern looking, easier to use. It's looking really good. So I can see the sites that I've got added to BlogVault here. And as I mentioned in the introduction, um, if you're running WP Remote, which is a very similar product, it um, looks the same. Basically, they've rolled out the new dashboard across all of their products, Airlift as well. So that's nice. So in this table here, we've got the overview. We can see which sites need updates um, in terms of plugins and themes. We can see um, a, we've got a quick login to WP Admin. New alerts will show up here. We can see that Estepona Life has got a vulnerability alert. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Down the left-hand side here, we've got some cool things like tags where you can add tags to keep things nicely organized. We've got auto updates where you can run a schedule of auto updates. Uh, we've also got your reports here. So this is particularly useful if you've got clients, you can create reports that you can send to them. Clients are in here. If you are managing clients, uh, your team members are in here so you can give access to the dashboard um, to members of your team. Then down here, we've got the white label settings so you can basically come in here and you can add your logo and labels and you can brand up all of the um, WP logins, which is nice. Um, you can also white label your um, plugin. So basically you can hide um, Blog Vault within the website. So again, great if you've got clients. Down here we've got integrations. So this is where you just connect up your Slack or your Dropbox or Google Page B, Google Analytics, that kind of thing. The last thing is to do with sender emails, which I'm not gonna go into right now. But let's go back to the sites and let's get to the real juicy stuff, which is the site dashboards. So let's go into Estepona Life and again, Brand new look, looks really nice. And we get a very clear overview on what's going on here. So site health is 95%, that's pretty good, but there are a few things that we need to look at. Um, the first is the alerts over here, and I will go into these in a minute, but let's just go through this page. Here are the backups, so we can see all the backups. And of course, BlogVault is great for doing backups. I've got 1,140 backups, so I think I'm gonna be okay if anything goes wrong. We've got the daily sync time, which is 7.53. Uh, we can do backup now just by clicking there. Here is the performance score. Not a great score at the moment. Um, I need to turn on Airlift, which I will do in a separate video. Airlift needs its own video because I want to show you how that looks now. It's all new. I have done Airlift videos in the past, but I want to yeah, do a new one, which I will do very soon. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Down here, we've got a big warning that your site is vulnerable and needs attention. So you're not going to miss that. Here we've got the firewall stats, so we can see that we've um, blocked 331 attacks. And you get some really interesting stats here in terms of people trying to log in and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it says we should enable geo um, blocking to um, reduce attack volume. We can do that in here. Now here we've got the staging. I've got a video on how I created the staging site on the channel. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description. Do go check that out. So it's useful if you want to, you know, try some stuff out, make some changes to the site without working on the live site. Very useful to have a um, staging site. Here we've got all our updates. So these are the plugin updates, and of course we can run them from here. And then down here we've got the uptime monitoring. And well, it's pretty good, 100% average uptime. You can't um, can't really fault that. It's hosted with Spiderweb, of course, Phil. So he makes sure that the site is always available. Down here we've got the reports. Again, very useful for um, clients because basically you can create a report. Here's one that I did earlier. Very easily create reports or you can schedule reports. You just click on new report and basically includes 
loads of cool stuff about well, everything that's in blog vault so all the uptime vulnerabilities updates backups really good if you're supporting clients and and that kind of thing by the way if you are supporting clients i recently did a video on how you can sell support services and uh, you know make a nice reoccurring recurring 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 income by selling support services again you'll find a link to that in the description but let's go back to the dashboard i think we're at the bottom pretty much got some notes here you can add a note this is a note particularly useful if you've got many people working in here within your team you can hook up google analytics of course if you want uh, and here is the activity log which is good again if you have lots of people working on the site you can see who's done what and uh, you know whether there's been any comments or plugins updated or stuff changed very useful the activity log but let's start from the top let's have a look at this vulnerability which we've got so let's see what that is so i can click resolve and on the last scan which was today just a couple of hours ago it's found two vulnerable plugins and if we click on that we can go into our plugin management and we can see all our plugins in here and then if we filter by vulnerable it's these two and of course within here we can easily update just by selecting both of those and clicking update we're going to do a quick save for sandbox I've done a video on this in the past of course on how to do this um, without breaking anything I've got loads of backups I'm fairly confident it's going to be fine I'm just going to do a quick update but if you were unsure whether it was going to work you could do safe or sandbox and then it will do it to a staging it will check everything's okay and then you can push it to the live site let's confirm that so there we go it's done it it says it's made to the finish line with a few hiccups and that's just basically the cache but that's fine I can clear the cache myself not a problem let's just go back to the dashboard of the site so back in dashboard we still got this message because the rest of the plugins are out of date which you know could be an issue so let's just update all of them while we're here so i'm just going to uh, do select all on that and um, click update and get all those plugins up to date again we'll do it quick it's going to take a few moments okay so that's all finished and there is one error i know what that is it's the advanced custom fields pro because i don't currently have a license for that pro plugin i didn't renew it oops so i don't get any updates on that one and yeah, it's struggled with the cache again but that's not an issue i can do that in a moment so there we go we're up to 100 percent site health now although there is still the one vulnerable plugin which is of course um, the advanced custom fields pro that i should probably get a license for other than that everything is good the activity log has got all the um activity that we've just done in terms of the updating of plugins but as you can see it's a really nice way to manage your wordpress sites especially if you've got multiple sites so there we go that is blog vault with its brand new shiny modern clean fresh looking interface do go check it out if you're not running it already if you are already running blog vault i hope you are you can switch to the new interface just click the button at the top of the screen let me know what you thought or what you think or anything you want really in the comments below i do love to hear from you i will read all the comments and i'll try to reply to as many as i possibly can if you're not yet subscribed hit that button and if you appreciate my content please click the like button until next time i wish you the best of luck with all your projects see you later